Well, many state officials are jumping on board CDC recommendations by instituting new social distancing policies. One America's Christina Howitson has all the details. State officials are making tough choices and slowly shutting down operations in an attempt to stop the spread of the coronavirus. In California, Governor Gavin Newsom announced during a press conference new quarantine restrictions for at-risk individuals. We are calling for the home isolation of all seniors in the state of California. Uh, we are calling for the isolation, home isolation, of all of those 65 years and older and those with chronic conditions. Uh, we are doing so with our eyes wide open at the magnitude of what that means uh, and the need to provide wraparound services to support our seniors in need of medical uh, supplies, in need of meals, and the like. But other recent orders are keeping even those still healthy indoors. So far, 33 states have decided to close all public schools, with several districts in every other state deciding to shut down independently. On Sunday, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker and Ohio Governor Mike DeWine revealed they were considering the closures of non-essential businesses during an interview on Meet the Press. Well, we're certainly looking at that. Uh, you know, we started off last week closing the schools. Uh, we reduced uh, the number of people gathered together to, to, to 100. Um, you know, we've restricted access to our nursing homes, to our prisons. Um, so we're, we're taking tough steps. Well, what I'm telling you is that we've been on the trajectory now uh, and planning for each yeah. of these steps because it's not easy. You can imagine each one of these decisions has consequences to them that are not just about the pandemic. They're also about people's livelihoods. So we're actually looking hard at that decision making today. Uh, we obviously saw what happened in Europe. Right. Uh, nowhere in the United States really has there been a, a, a lockdown on uh, bars and restaurants, but it's something that we're seriously looking at. Sunday night, Governor DeWine ordered the complete closure of bars and restaurants, while Pritzker and Newsom ordered food venues to limit to half capacity. On Monday, Governors Andrew Cuomo of New York, Ned Lamont of Connecticut, and Phil Murphy of New Jersey made a tri-state deal to close non-essential businesses, including theaters and casinos. The restrictions have spread to major cities as well, including Los Angeles, New York City, and Washington, D.C., though not everyone is complying. A neighborhood commissioner in D.C. threatened to pull the liquor license of businesses owned by the Hill Restaurant Group after they revealed they would not abide by the mayor's policies. Videos have surfaced from New Orleans of police trying to clear the streets after a mandatory curfew. But some mayors recognize the troubling times and have put measures in place not only to keep people safe, but help them get through the next few weeks. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announced the creation of a free 24-hour mental health hotline for people struggling to get by. The mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, has ordered a moratorium on evictions during the crisis. That's why tonight we announce also a moratorium on evictions for our renters. You can be rest assured that you will not lose your housing during this crisis because you can't make the rent. Other officials are likely to make similar statements throughout the week. Christina Howitson, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.